If you are among the tens of thousands still trying to maneuver New York State's unemployment system, some good news. The Department of Labor is streamlining the application process. As of today, if you're trying to file for unemployment insurance or assistance due to COVID-19, you only have to fill out one form, not two. More than 3,000 representatives are on standby answering unemployment questions and returning calls. One of our viewers reached out to us after she received a call from someone claiming to be from the unemployment office. But after she hung up, she wasn't sure if the call was legit or a scam. Reporter Ed Riley shows us how you can tell the difference. I would honestly like to be working, but at the moment I have no option. Jeannie DeMarco is an occupational therapist who works in Buffalo Public Schools. With schools now closed, Jeannie, like many people, has applied for unemployment. Even though efforts were made by the State Department of Labor to speed up the unemployment claim process, Jeannie found it to be very frustrating because it's been five weeks without any benefits. It's crazy because I'll call like 100 times a day and like you don't even get a hold of a person. After submitting her online information, Jeannie was informed someone would call to finish the application. A week ago, she did get a call. So I was anxious to answer and like anxious to like complete it. But now Jeannie is not sure if it was real or fake. What concerned her is the call came from a 518 area code. We looked up on Google like the number and it it's just like some random place in New York. Jeannie fears the caller may have gotten information to take her benefits. There's no really way to validate if it's the actual Department of Labor or not. So how can you tell the difference between a legitimate call and a scammer? It is a question viewers have asked us. We reached out to the State Department of Labor, which said many of its workers are now working remotely, which means they may show up as calling from a private number. Anyone calling from the department will verify their identity by providing the date the claim was filed and the type of claim it was. The department said that is information only the labor representative would have access to. But be advised representatives may ask some personal information to verify the claimant's identity and complete the application process. I don't know who to turn to because I can't even call the Department of Labor. The State Department of Labor told us that staff from other agencies and even outside vendors are now supporting the unemployment claim operation. And so it is possible that a 518 area code may show up in addition to the private caller ID. At Riley 7 Eyewitness News.